I didn't realize how great he was, and just working with him, he just gives you so much, and um, and he just elevates your performance. So, what I did was I just basically took some advice from people that gave me, just listen to everything that he says, pay attention, and just react accordingly. And and uh, that's basically what I did. He's so good that you just like feed off of him, and he gives you so much to work with. It was honestly the the best experience. I just feel very fortunate to get the role. And, uh, and in the beginning, I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself. I felt like, you know, everyone kept telling me, you know, Michael Shannon is the most intense, incredible actor. And obviously, I'm a big fan. Um, I really understood that I need to bring my A game and really be prepared and, and, and really understand what I'm getting myself into. Knowing that, I really put in a lot of work. So by the time we got the set, I was focused. I mean, I didn't, I tried not to think about them as being these big, you know, stars and, and incredible actors. I just felt like if I do what I need to do, once it's all said and done and you watch the movie, then obviously you see the performance. And now that I look back, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Probably the hospital scene at the end. Only because when I read the script and talked to the director, he was explaining to me that we're doing it and uh, we're sitting around a table having coffee and he was going to shoot it in three different directions where in my POV and his POV. And last minute, he decided to do a one shot. So we're walking through the whole hospital and I went into a panic mode just because, you know, I, I thought, you know, when you do a, a scene where you can shoot it in different coverage, you, you get, to, you know, get away with a few things. If you mess up, you can restart or, you know, the way they edit it. But in a one shot, it's just, that was really hard for me. Wow, he was a psychopath. I mean, Mike plays him so well that he kind of gives him like a human side to him. That's why I think at the end of the movie, people kind of like, obviously you realize he's a killer and, uh, and uh, you don't feel bad, you know, for what happens to him at the end. But you kind of relate that, you know, he, he loved his family so much. You kind of feel bad a little bit that it happened. Um, but, I, I mean, I think the guy was just crazy. But uh, just watching the documentaries and watching his mannerism and the way he talked, it doesn't seem like anyone I would want to know. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. No, because I feel like Dino is so different than Richie in the movie. Uh, they grew up in the same neighborhood and they kind of like hung out in the beginning together, but um, he's so different than him. Richie's so intense and, and I feel like Dino's more like a follower and kind of like just wanted to hang around and just be a part of like the success. He feels like he's being very successful because he sees him paying for dinners, he's all dressed up, the wife, the kids, not realizing what he really does. I grew up in Brooklyn, so... I've been around those people a little bit, and, and nothing like the Iceman. <laughs> no.